Okay, what we got here. I just wanted to go over what I did to put together the boxes here. I've got a uh, file cabinet box here. And a back. In case I build another in the future, I want to just aim the steps I went through. Or the top comes off. Uh, basically, the first thing you want to do is decide on the layout. And one of the first things I saw was I wanted to use this 400 watt uh, inverter and a controller. I may use this, I may not use a different controller. And I wanted to put a uh, maybe a voltmeter or a volt voltage indicator somewhere on the top here where you can read that off while it's charging or get a look at it while it's not charging what's left in the battery so I'm running out of space here for this inverter doesn't quite fit partly because of the uh, size of the inverter how the bolts hang out doesn't quite fit with this inverter on the top so what I decided to do is to put this inverter underneath underneath the uh, cover here. What I have here is uh, a um, foam board that you can get from uh, Walmart and just cut out pieces how I think I wanted to lay it out. This is what I ended up with. Uh, how you want to arrange the battery. This is a 20 amp hour uh, sealed lead acid battery there. So basically you can buy this uh, Walmart and cut it to size. Take a Zacto knife and cut it fairly easily to whatever you want to use it for. On this one I'm beginning to cut the holes. I figured out the layout, how I want to do it. Didn't want to cut the holes until I figured out how I wanted it laid out. And this is what I decided. Um, first of all, I wanted it off off the bottom in case there's gets acid or water in the bottom I wanted to lift the electrical components off of the floor of the box so basically I just cut out the foam board to where I wanted to lay things out the way I figured this layout was uh, once I decided that the uh, verter was too big for the top, I had to decide how I wanted to lay out the uh, inverter. It's not, uh, box isn't big enough to fit the inverter this direction, so it's got to go a long ways. And what I decided to do was put it this way. And this is more intention. And uh, that way the outlets are this way. And I can do a this orientation. I've got uh, I can do a direct connect from the power outlets here, but I want that foam partition over at the top. So I have that nice display on top with the controller. So I can't really do a direct connect don't really want to do a direct connect to the outlets here so I could either take them directly to the wall here but what I decided to do is take it around to the front put my outlets in the front uh, just for the sake of having all my outlets in the front of the box and all my uh, fuses, circuit breakers out on a different side, my fans on a different side. So I cut holes for the fans, put a couple of little muffin fans, hopefully that'll move the air enough for the inverter. And let me hook that up and pack these parts in, show you what I'm what I'm looking at.